Good everyone, you're watching Rate Your Fixes. In this video, I'm going to talk about how to fix if your monitor turns off or goes black randomly. Now, there are a couple of steps which you can try to get this issue resolved. Now, if you like this video, please make sure to hit the like button and do not forget to subscribe to my channel. Now, the first step, uh, what I would suggest before going into any recommended solution is to ensure that all the cables are plugged in correctly or test your monitor with another device if possible. Now, this is the something which you can try to get this issue resolved. So, if you have any faulty cables, there are high chances that your monitor may go black randomly. Now, in spite of uh, checking the problem, uh, the cables, and if you're still facing a problem, the first step what I would suggest you to do is to update the graphic driver. To do this, you can do a right click on the start button and then click on device manager. Once you have the device manager open on your computer screen, you will have to go ahead and look for the display adapters. So under this section, you will have to go ahead and navigate for the display adapters. So this is where you would find. Now these are the display adapters. You might see more than one display adapters on your computer. In case um, this would be a default one. In case if you have a graphic card, you would also see the graphic card listed under here. In my case, it is NVIDIA. So you would see here. So what you need to do is to update the display adapters. You will have to do a right click on this uh, one of the adapters here. Click on update driver and then choose the option which says search automatically for the drivers. By default, you would see this window which says the best drivers for your devices are already installed. If you see this option, click the option which says search for the updated drivers on the Windows update. So what this will do is it will check for the latest updates for your display adapters via Windows update. Now you can go ahead and click on check for the updates in case if there are already updates available for your windows, you may go ahead and click on download and install. And once it is done, restart your computer and then check if your issue has been resolved. In case if your issue has been resolved, well and good, you don't have to try the next step. The next step, what I would suggest you to do is, I would suggest you to turn off the energy saving mode on your computer. To do this, uh, what you will have to do is, in the search window, you will have to go ahead and type this command. So, so click on the search window. In the search window, you can go ahead and type the command which says power cfg.cpl. I will also mention this command in the video description and I will also uh, update it on the screen. Open the power configuration settings. It will take you to this window, the power option. In case if you see a high performance or if you see a balanced performance, go ahead and choose that and click on the option which says change plan settings. So if you're on the balanced plan, then you will have to go ahead and click on change plan settings. This will take you to this option here. And if you see a, an option which says turn off the display and if you see that there has been time has been set, make sure you set it for never. In that way, what you're doing is you're making your display to not to go to sleep mode um, when you're connected uh, on the, when you have it, when you have your laptop on the battery or it is connected to the uh, power cord. In this way, you're making your making sure that your screen doesn't go to the sleep mode. Now, once it is done, um, you may go ahead and cl click on save changes and uh, check if your issue has been resolved. Now, if your issue has been resolved, you don't have to try the next step. Now, as a next step, uh, what you can also do is you can go ahead and restart your computer in safe mode with networking or you can restart the computer with windows safe mode how do you do it you may go ahead and click on the start button right click on the start button and if you see an option which says shut down or sign out press the shift key on your keyboard and then click on restart now when you click on restart you will be getting an option to uh, on the screen to troubleshoot navigate the advanced option 
under the startup settings now use the up and down arrow key and choose the option which says windows safe mode and then click on restart in case if you don't see the advanced start option or you can go ahead and restart the computer again and then press f8 or f4 on your keyboard multiple times till you get the advanced boot advanced boot option or at the advanced option now uh, once you have the advanced option use your up and down arrow key choose the windows safe mode and restart the computer this will restart the computer in windows safe mode once it is done then try to check if your uh, if your computer goes uh, goes to black screen randomly in case if it doesn't go to the black screen randomly it is an indication that there are some third party application which is causing a problem so you might want to go ahead and uninstall those application basically those could be your uh, performance improvement software it could be causing a problem so my suggestion would be to go ahead and uninstall them once it is done try to restart the computer in normal mode and check if your issue has been resolved now in spite of trying all this step and if you're still facing a problem the last step i would suggest you to do is i would suggest you to go ahead and install the updates make sure your windows is up to date to do this uh, you will have to do a right click on the start button and then click on settings once you're on the settings page you will have to click on windows update under windows update check if you are any updates available so in case if there are any updates available you may go ahead and install those updates and once it is done restart your computer and that should uh, ideally fix the problem so in spite of trying all this step and if you're still facing a problem then uh, what you can do is you can leave me a comment in the comment section and I can come up with a possible solution. I hope this video was useful. In case if you like this video, please make sure to hit the like button and do not forget to subscribe to my channel. Thank you. Have a great day.